Hey y'all, Chatel Red, the grown ass teenager in the building. And right now I'm doing a reaction on a man killed in Walmart parking lot over alleged road rage argument. People, people, we have another case of it was all good just a week ago. I'm not talking about the man who died, obviously. I, I Well, it was all good just a week ago for him too, but... I'm talking about the nigga who killed him. Um, it's not really that serious, bro. Go park somewhere else. Now he's going to be sitting in that cell facing them 20 years. Like, damn, all I had to do was go park somewhere else. Anyway, let's hear the story, folks. Let's do it. Get one unlimited for iPhone and get iPhone 14 Pro on us when you pre-order Verizon. Who made everyone a... A 23-year-old man is in jail tonight, charged with murder. He's accused of killing a stranger during an argument over a parking spot at Walmart this weekend. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is outside the jail with the very latest on this story. Brooke? Yeah, I spoke with the, the victim's wife just moments ago over the phone, and she tells me that he leaves behind his wife and three sons. He's going to be remembered as a loving father who made everyone around him laugh. She was distraught, as you can imagine, when we spoke mm. over the phone. And right now, she's just trying to wrap her head around how something so small as a parking spot escalated into this deadly shooting. It was an argument outside of a parking spot like this one outside of Walmart that officials say cost 32-year-old Joshua Lazard his life. His wife sending us these photos. She tells us he's a father who leaves behind three sons. His accused killer appearing before a judge. Mr. Hernandez, you have been charged with the felony offense of murder. Records show Christopher David Hernandez got into a fight with the victim, Joshua Lazard. At the Walmart on the West Beltway near Bissonette on a busy Saturday afternoon, surrounded by shoppers. One witness describing what happened to officials. The witness who was just getting her reusable grocery bags out of her car in the Walmart parking lot saw the complainant yell at someone you don't know how to drive. And then saw the complainant walking towards the Walmart. That's when the witness says Lazard approached Hernandez and started yelling again moments before he was shot to death. The defendant pulled out a gun and fired three shots at the complainant in the middle of the Walmart parking lot in the middle of the day, killing the complainant. Hernandez called police from McDonald's where he was arrested, the gun found in his pocket. A judge says bond at $300,000. The 23-year-old who had no prior criminal history now faces possible life behind bars. This posed a danger to everyone in, at the Walmart, in the Walmart parking lot, all bystanders, passersby. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Damn, he's not even a criminal. He don't have no priors. Did you, why did you let your emotions get the best of you like that? Like, yo, that's where people mess up. That's what I'm talking about. It was all good just a week ago. You got to control your emotions. In five years, is it going to matter? Actually, is it going to matter tomorrow? Tomorrow, is it going to matter that this nigga took your parking spot? It's not. And that's what people got to sit back and relax, relate. Release. Three, two, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? And by then you should calm down. At least a normal person, a normal sane person should get a grip at that point. Now, you're going to jail for life, possibly. I mean, you killed the black man, so... Maybe you won't go to jail for life, okay? Had it been a white man, you're done. You would have been finished. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just giving my opinion. That's why we're here. Because this is my page and I can give my opinion. Um, and that's just how I feel about it. Um, damn, he had three sons. Shit. Now them three sons got to grow up without a father. And that wife now, who had a partner, a husband, is now raising three boys 
on her own. I hope them kids be all right, man, without their dad. Yo, RIP the homie and prayers up to his family. Like, what's wrong with y'all people? Damn. I hope homeboy really deserve life, man, because you just took that man's life and, and the life of his three sons. I mean, because they never going to see their father again. And now we don't know what's going to happen with them with one parent, which is a mother. And now she has to raise three boys. Like, you've changed their, all of their lives. You've changed all of their lives permanently. Mm hmm. Be off with him. Oh, well, because it was not that serious. And that's all I got to say about that. Mm. Thank you.